Hey guys, it's me, Desiree Marie. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my crew. Hashtag crew if you are a part of the subscribers or our subscriber group. <laughs> Hashtag crew down below if you are subscribed to this channel. And if you are not subscribed and you're watching me for the first time, I'm Desiree Marie and I talk about my locks. I show you guys almost each and every day new things that I'm learning and discovering about my locks. I do this in hopes to motivate you and inspire you on your journey if you are locked or to motivate and inspire you who are just thinking about locks but you haven't gotten off the fence yet. I'm your girl. I talk about locks almost each and every day. I bring you guys up close and detailed um, quality videos showing when I wash my hair. Yes, I get close when I wash my locks. Um, maintain my locks and style them. I bring you guys along the journey as I mess up, I fail, I learn, and I rediscover my hair. So if you're interested in any of that cool stuff, hit the subscribe button because it's fun, it's free, and you're guaranteed something fresh and new each and every day. But anyway guys, thank you for watching yet another video. Today is a Q&A. I realized that I've been getting so many comments and so many questions that it has been a little bit difficult to respond to each and every comment the way that I'm used to. And a lot of you guys know that I work outside of the home at the moment, so it's really, really difficult to respond to each and every comment. So this is a video answering a lot of you guys' questions concerning your locks. And I just want to put a disclaimer out there. Some of you guys don't like disclaimers, but I'm going to give it anyway. I am not a lock guru expert. I'm simply a girl who started her locks three years ago, and I learned a lot along the way. So I'm here to provide insight based on the things that I know to be true within my lock journey and helpful tips for you. So if you are someone who is a little bit more experienced, feel free to drop your answers down below to the questions that I'm about to read. Um, this is a community, so I encourage everyone to just come in, comment, ask questions if you have any questions concerning your lock journey. And yeah, so this is an open-ended conversation. It's not just a, you know, you ask me and I give the final say, but everyone has uh, you know, room to speak and voice your opinions, voice your answers. If a lot of you guys are actually locticians, like you're actually licensed locticians. So answer the con you know, some of the questions down below. Help a sister, help a brother, all right? So let's just get on to these questions, shall we? All right, so a lot of you guys have asked questions concerning your journey and my hair as well. So we're just going to get right into it. All right, so the first question that I will answer is a question that is geared towards my lock journey. And one of you guys asked, what happened to my hair color? Do I think that the, because you guys know that I colored my hair in the beginning of the year, I colored it jet black. <laughs> and now it is like back to my ashy brown color. One of you guys asked if it's because of the clarifying shampoos, why did it lose its color so quickly? So I think that it lost its color because of, well, because of a few reasons. One reason being the tea, the tea rinse that I made, um, the tea rinse that I made a little bit after I colored my hair had chamomile and a pinch of lemon in it. So if you don't know, chamomile and lemon are actually lighteners. So when you put that in your hair, it actually lightens your hair color naturally. I did not quite put that into consideration when I made that tea rinse. Um, so shortly after using the tea rinse, and I used it every day, I used it every day as like a leave-in conditioning spray. So shortly after using that, I realized that my hair was starting to fade. Also, you know, with all the washing, I was washing my hair a lot. Um, and of course, the clarifying as well, the detoxing, you know, the shampoos that specialize in detoxing my hair. Um, all of those things brought into a, a, you know, the result that I have now, which is back to my ashy brown hair. But I'm okay with it. Um, like I said in a previous video, I want to accept myself as 
you know with my ashy brown locks even though I don't quite like the look I'd rather it be a little bit darker I'm here to accept my hair straight out of my head before even thinking towards putting a, a hair color on top of it um, I felt a little bit a little ashamed when after I put the black hair dye on top of my hair um, I realized like wow you know God gave me these beautiful highlights and here I am putting color on top of it I kind of felt a little bit of, a little tinge of conviction so you just have to listen to your heart listen to what your hair is telling you if your hair is in a good condition to even color your hair if you're considering to color your hair um, and what what is your real intentions with coloring your hair you know I know it's not always that deep but sometimes you do want to kind of think you know do some introspection is it because you just want to do something new and fun that's awesome try something new and fun but if you are doing it to cover up something that you don't like you will find that what you don't like will pop through somehow and it's going to take even more work for you to keep covering it up some of you have gray hairs and you realize you color your hair all day and those gray hairs will pop up tomorrow <laughs> so here I am with my you know ashy brown hair and I'm okay with it you know I'm learning to accept myself in my most natural state you know so um, yeah a lot of those things contributed to the fading of the hair color will I color my hair again yes I probably will but right now I just feel the need to you know make sure that the health of my hair is up to par because I am still dealing with like little bit of buildup issues if you guys didn't see a previous video you guys know I've been battling with these buildup issues for a long time so I'm just trying to kind of you know take a pause with all the different stuff that I, I you know I'm doing and just focus on the health getting my hair back to clean uh, clean cleanliness you know the clean locks um, getting the the, the build-up out and accepting my hair for what it is You know, that's what you gotta do sometimes just pull back in order to reassess and then <laughs> In order to move forward the right way So thank you for asking that question and I'm so sorry that these answers are coming so late, but I hope that you guys are still um, you know finding the, these answers helpful let me know down below if any of you have colored your hair and then like immediately regretted it what are your stories I'd love to know share them down below all right another question that I have here is do you ever see lint or whatever <laughs> after brushing your locks I did it before a few of my washes but I never noticed lint in the brush or falling out my hair so I just stopped figure it wasn't necessary okay so thank you for asking that question and that is a great question because so many of us may feel like brushing our locks is not all that necessary it doesn't take all of that you don't need to do all of that my answer is it does take all of that because as you can see with my journey my locks are so prone to build up and I know a lot of you girls and guys suffer from from the same you know same things your hair is so prone to build up you may live in a in an area where there's a lot of dirt a lot of um just different elements in the air you may yeah there's a lot and you may use products that contribute to build up so even if you don't think that you have lint or any type of dirt in your hair I would highly suggest that you brush your locks before washing them because you just never know like you just never know unless you've got a really great mirror that's like giving you like that extra zoom in microscopic view I would suggest just doing it anyway it doesn't hurt you know you can do it with a soft bristle brush and just lightly just dust you don't have to really go in and you know you don't brush 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 but you just dust your hair just to make sure whatever may be on top of it is off it is a preventative method you can do that just to prevent any type of future issues um, it doesn't hurt you can do it for like two three minutes 
I would suggest it because once you wash your hair, all that you did not see that was on top of your lock can easily become embedded. Um, so while your hair is still clean now, try that bring that into your lock uh, routine and you will continue having clean locks I, I guarantee you that but it does not hurt your locks to just go ahead and dust your hair before washing even if you don't think that there's an issue all right so let's get to the next question here so the next question comes from another subscriber and she says have you ever tried your own flaxseed gel mixed with aloe vera gel it actually works pretty well and the hold is pretty good thank you so much for asking me this question I think you um, asked me this under the video where I talked about you know when I you know me retwisting with grease and all of that stuff I have tried flaxseed gel I have I've tried I've tried and I've tried um, aloe vera as well but it just doesn't give me any type of hold um I you know I should try again you know it doesn't hurt to try again but the first time I believe I was kind of in a place where I wanted my hair to be to be held for longer than just a few days um, it was the summertime it was hot and I just wanted my hair to look a lot neater than it looked um so I was looking for a more natural way to do it look and I also kicked uh, to the curb, the Eagle Styler Gel. So that's when I went to the supermarket, got an, a big aloe vera leaf, and also tried my um, tried the, the flaxseed uh, gel stuff. I have a whole video where I showed you guys, but it just didn't give me that hold. But now that I'm not as obsessed with that, and I want to keep from build up issues. I will consider going back to it and maybe even trying other natural alternatives. Um, but yeah, it, it, that's actually a really great idea and I would totally, totally try it again. Um, and I would recommend to anyone who is suffering from buildup issues because of the gels or any other products that you may be using, um, you can try aloe vera and flaxseed but I also know it doesn't work for everyone's hair texture because some of us have like a really like kinky you know, coarse hair texture which is awesome but at the same time you may want your hair to stay a little bit neater for a longer period of time aloe vera and the flaxseed is a is a gentle gel it won't give you that extra hold so I will try it with all that being said, I'll try it again. I'll try it again. And thank you for the recommendation. I so appreciate that.